All right, so the other day I was reading my comments and I saw somebody suggest, hey, can you show me how to do some text just like Fearless? And I've never watched Fearless before, never heard of him. So I was like, you know what? I'll go look him up. I'll see what he's got to offer and, you know, check it out. But when I saw those text animations, whew, those text animations, I thought, hey, that's pretty good. So get ready because I'm about to show you guys how to edit some text just like Fearless. All right, what's up guys? My name is Jacques Orja Q and I cover a lot of content on this channel that's focused on helping you guys make content the way that you want to make it. So if you're into that thing, make sure to hit that subscribe button down below. Today, I'm going to be showing you guys how to do some text animations just like Fearless. Now the text we're going to be covering today is going to be this stretching text, this background shaking text, and then lastly is going to be this jump in and like rotation text. And all of these have timestamps, so if you want to jump to a specific effect, go ahead and do so. Now pretty consistently throughout this video, we're going to be using this text right here. So if you need the color codes, these are the color codes. I use in this video and also here are the effects that I put on this text to make it look the way that it does now the first animation we're gonna be covering today is this stretching text animation so let's hop to premiere and I'll show you guys what we're getting into today so I've already gone ahead and added some text and some footage here on the timeline so we can have something to mess with but the first thing we're gonna do is go to the effects in the top right hand corner of your screen and look for an effect called transform you're gonna be finding that under distort and then drag that transform on top of your text now first up, we're going to go to the effects controls in the top left and scroll down a little bit. And we're going to go ahead and change our rotation to a negative three value because that's what About Fearless has in his video. Next thing we're going to do is you're going to want to grab your playhead and move it to roughly around this area here and then hit the stopwatch next to scale under vector motion and make sure it's vector motion and not the transform. Next, go ahead and move your playhead forward to roughly about this area here and then change the scale value to 70. That's all you're going to have to do for the scale under vector motion. So just leave it alone. Next up, uncheck this box that says uniform scale. This will basically allow to do the stretching part of this effect. Now move your play to the very beginning of your timeline here and then hit the stopwatch next to scale width. The first up, you're going to want to change your scale width value to 135. Then move your play to roughly about this area and make sure it's past this 100 scale keyframe that we made at the very beginning and then change your scale width value to 80. After this, make sure to grab your playhead and move it to where it lines up with the 70 scale keyframe and then change your scale width value down here to 145. Next up, select all of these keyframes, right click and then go to Bezier. And that'll basically give it a lot smoother of a motion when it goes through of all this like stretching and unstretching kind of look. Next up, we're going to add something that we're actually going to add to all these text animations. So make sure that your playhead is lined up on this last keyframe still and then hit the stopwatch next to opacity. And you can go ahead and just grab this 100 keyframe and move it to roughly about this area. And then with your playhead still in the same place, go ahead and change your opacity value to zero. And that'll basically just give us a nice fade out at the very end of our text. Next up, uncheck this box that says use composition shutter angle and then change your shutter angle value to 360. And basically what this will do is give our text a nice motion blur while it's all shaking around and being, you know, shaky and then here you go here's that stretching text we just made if you want to stretch it maybe like vertically instead of horizontally instead of messing with the scale width mess with the scale height and it's just as simple as that all right next up is going to be this like background shaking text it's actually kind of interesting how he does it it's pretty simple but also like it's pretty smart at the same time so let's go ahead and hop back into Vermeer and get this one done all right, now to start this animation off again, we're gonna be grabbing transform back again from the effects in the top right. Go ahead and put it down onto the text that you have on your timeline and then go to the effects controls in the top left. Scroll down a little bit and move your play it all the way to the beginning. First up, go ahead and go down to rotation and change it to a negative six value. Then we're gonna hit the stopwatch next to position and scale. We're gonna be leaving this position keyframe at the default values, but for the scale, we're gonna be changing the first keyframe to 60. Now in this animation, Fearless just has his text move off to the right and then come back to the center. So what we're gonna do is have our playhead around this area here. Then we're gonna grab our X value on our position and just drag it over to the right a bit, roughly around this area. And then also make sure to change your scale value to 100. Now once you've done this, move your playhead forward just a little bit more like this, and then hit the reset keyframe button for your position to just make it default back to where it originally was. Next, go ahead and grab your playhead and move it to roughly around this area here and then change your scale value to 105. Next, go ahead and select all of your position and scale keyframes, right click, go to temporal interpolation and then make them all bezier. And that'll do the same thing as the last text animation and make it all really smooth and like nice to look at. Next up, we're gonna add the fade out thing that we did with the last animation. So stopwatch next to opacity, move 100 keyframe here, opacity is set to zero on this last keyframe. Then we're gonna add the same motion blur too. So uncheck this box that says use composition shutter angle and then change the th shutter angle back to 360. Now we've created our top text, but the way to get that shaking text behind it is basically you make a duplicate of this same text we just made. So we're gonna drag this text up a layer and then hold your alt key on your keyboard and then left click on this text, drag down to make a duplicate. Then we're gonna go back to the effects on the 
the top right and grab a second transform. You're gonna go ahead and drag that onto that bottom text we just made because we're gonna need to use it for the shaking part. But also you have to make sure for this bottom text, you have to change it a little bit. So go to the effects controls in the top left, scroll down a bit and we can just minimize these two transforms because we don't need to mess with it right now. So first up, we're gonna change our fill on this text to blue. And if you need the color code, once again, I'll just put it on screen here while I'm typing it in. Also while you're here, make sure to change the text size to 105. And all that'll do is make the text a bit bigger so you can see it when it's behind that first text. Now we're done with that, we can scroll up, minimize the text we just messed with, and then reopen that transform that we haven't touched at all. Next, move your play to the very beginning of your timeline, hit the stopwatch next to position. Now to save you guys some time, basically what you're gonna wanna do is once you're set on this very first keyframe that we've already made, go ahead and hit the arrow keys on your keyboard to the right two times, and then I'll move you two frames forward, and then you plug in this value, and then you do the same thing. So two frames forward, plug in this value, two frames forward, plug in this value, and then lastly, two frames forward, and plug in this value. Now essentially all this is doing is just moving that text around like crazy behind our original text but this does not last throughout the entire animation so what we're going to do is left click and select these last four keyframes that we made and make sure not to select the very first one right click on your keyframes then go to copy then you're going to move your play at forward two frames like we were just doing so one two and then you're going to hit Control v and that'll just paste down your keyframes and then you basically just do that until the effect is done now lastly you're going to come down to use composition shutter angle and uncheck it and change that shutter angle value to 360. Oh, and also one more thing, if you'd like, go ahead and select all the keyframes we just made here, right click and then go Temporal Interpolation and Bezier just to make it a little bit smoother. It's not a huge difference, but I think it helps just a little bit more. All right, and then here you go. Here's that nice like shaking background text whenever things are kind of hectic and crazy. But next up is going to be this jump in and rotation text. It's also very simple, just like the rest of these effects have been. So let's go ahead, hop into this last effect and uh, then you guys can be just like fearless. All right, so once again, we have our text on our timeline, and then also, once again, we're gonna be grabbing transform from the top right in our effects like we did for the rest of these. Go ahead, drag it on top of that text, and go to the effects controls in the top left. Then scroll down a little bit, and make sure your play it is at the very beginning of the timeline here. Now for this effect, you're gonna be hitting the stopwatch next to scale and rotation. The very first scale value is gonna remain at 100. Next, you're gonna move your play it to roughly about this area, and then change your scale value to 135. And then lastly, you're gonna move your play it forward to roughly about this area, and change your scale value to 100. Also, keep your playhead in the same area and then change your rotation value to negative four. And I also forgot this, but go to that very beginning keyframe for rotation and change the value to negative nine. This will basically make it to where the text rotates from the left to the right, but if you want it to rotate from the right to the left, all you have to do is change that negative nine to a positive nine and that negative four to a positive four. And now, once again, like we have done for every single one of these text animations, go ahead and add a fade out effect for this text with a hundred keyframe at the beginning and then a zero keyframe at the end. Then we're gonna uncheck this box once again and change shutter angle to 360. All right, and then here you go. Here's all the effects we just made. And like I said, none of them are really too difficult to do. It's kind of just like a lot of simple things that stack on top of each other to make something that looks beautiful. But hopefully you guys found this video helpful. And if so, make sure to hit that like button and subscribe. I cover a lot of content on this channel that's focused on helping you guys make content the way that you want to make it. Also, let me know down in the comments below what was your favorite effect that I covered in this video or maybe something else you want to see in a future video. And until next time, Peace. Now the text we're going to be covering today is going to be the sh 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 s